Metallica. What's up, Metallica? Need a lift? There is no bigger heavy metal band in the world today than Metallica, so it's only natural their music would turn up in some of the most popular movies and TV shows of all time. <laughs> Metallica rules. Whether their music is being used to hype things up, Jeez, he went down like a sack of potatoes, huh? Or helping characters to blow off some steam. You have no confidence in your ability to identify macroeconomic trends. Their legendary tunes are always a welcome addition to any soundtrack. Here's our 10 favorite times Metallica's music was cranked up on the big and small screen. Number 10, Any Given Sunday. In the 1999 Oliver Stone film, Any Given Sunday, the jacked up sharks celebrate a hard earned win in the locker room. But the victory tunes aren't up to snuff for the metalheads on the team, so they hijack the playlist to blast some Metallica. Metallica the is gone. Number nine, The Flash. When the Flash needs to quite literally run on lightning, it just makes sense that Ride the Lightning would be the right track for the scene. And Barry dropping the, we'll finally be able to fight fire with fire quote in the same episode is bonus points. Number eight, Jungle Cruise. This cinematic orchestral take on Nothing Else Matters helps The Rock's character, Frank Wolf, tell his origin story and is the perfect track to accompany images of the cursed conquistadors trapped in the jungle for all eternity. Number seven, Willow. Knock on. This cover of Enter Sandman by Rina Sawayama was a great way to cap off the third episode of the Willow series. It definitely kept us sticking around to headbang through the credits. And I have to say, Mickey Mouse must be a Metallica fan or something because Disney is really loving these riffs lately. Number six, Project X. When the cops finally show up in ride gear to shut down an epic party, it's hard to imagine any song more perfect to accompany the frantic shit show than Battery. Number five, X-Men Apocalypse. In X-Men Apocalypse, the downtrodden angel finally gets his wings back. It's hella gruesome, at least for Marvel movies, and backed up by the four horsemen. A not so subtle reference to the supervillain Apocalypse referring to his henchmen as the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Also worth noting is that the film was actually set in 1983, the same year that Kill 'Em All came out. Perfection. Number four, Old School. The comedy classic starring Will Ferrell and Vince Vaughn makes top-notch use of Master of Puppets. Go time! Playing throughout a montage in which the guys are ripping around the neighborhood in a very heavy metal van, kidnapping their fraternity pledges in broad daylight. What's going on? If you tell anyone about this, I'll fucking kill you. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We'll come back by tonight, okay, sweetie? Number three, Wednesday. Tim Burton seems to be returning to form with his revamped Adams Family show. With Wednesday being a virtuoso cellist, they didn't stop at her version of Paint It Black, but featured an awesome cover of Nothing Else Matters by the one and only Apocalyptica. For a lot of us, this was a reminder that Apocalyptica still kicks ass. Highly recommend their album, Inquisition Symphony, featuring a whole bunch of classical Metallica covers. Number two, the Zombieland movies. Something about blowing zombies away to Metallica just feels right. Director Ruben Fleischer knows this all too well, opening both films with an amazing slow motion slaughter fest set to For Whom the Bell Tolls and Master of Puppets, respectively. As the old saying goes, if it ain't broke. And at number one, it's Stranger Things. Move on to phase three. Copy that, initiating phase three. Let's hope they hear this. We really couldn't think of a more iconic moment for a Metallica track in a show or movie. Chrissy, this is from you. This memorable scene from season four helped introduce a whole new generation to the band and just straight up rocks. Actor Joseph Quinn actually learned to play the song on guitar and got props from the man himself for his efforts. Thanks for doing it justice, by the way. You definitely did. The nostalgia is real in Stranger Things, and for us dungeon crawling, heavy metal loving filmmakers here at the channel, there's no way this wasn't going to number one. Well, there you have it. 
Combining moving pictures with music and sound and arranging it all to create a cohesive, engaging story is a challenging art form to say the least. And in the early days, the Bay Area legends maintained their punk rock attitude and were completely against having their music or image featured in any films or television. Never listen to our music again. But after they were featured in the documentary Paradise Lost and then invited and probably offered a whole bunch of money to write and perform the song I Disappear for the Mission Impossible 2 soundtrack, the band changed their tune. Today, their unmistakable riffs can be heard in all kinds of films and shows, from comedy and Marvel movies to sitcoms and cartoons. I'm the new coach, James Hetfield. This is Lars Ulrich, greatest metal drummer of all time. You know the song? Even creating their very own film, Into the Never. Which completely flopped and cost them a cold 32 million. Welcome to Hollywood, boys. This is a bit of a shit sandwich, though. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and let us know below your favorite time the Thrash Titans got cranked up on your TV.